Okay, last two Chinese mastery levels. Fingers crossed. about this before, but it's really important to start a system for each level. If you notice, I always put things in generally the same places. So I'm not like, oh, which plate has the beef on it? Because I always know which plate has the beef on it. It stops you from accidentally plating the wrong foods. And if you're going to break your system, there should be the reason for it. Because the real trick of these games is making them happen automatically. It's getting it to a point where you don't really even have to think about what you're doing. Your fingers just move on their own. That's always going to be how you get the fastest time clear levels, but having to buy the fewest upgrades. Because this game, anyone can be any level. If you have enough gems, if you wait long enough and collect enough gems, you can buy any upgrade, and once you've got all the upgrades, there's no reason why you can't at least get one star on a level. So, I mean, really, this game is set up so that everyone can beat every level, even if they're bad at the game. But if you want to get through the levels as quickly as possible, buying as few upgrades as possible, then you have to make it more habitual. You have to memorize where where you where do I put this? Where do I always put this? So that your fingers can do it without having to ask your brain. He's singing for no one. <laughs> Alright, there's one more level in the Chinese Mastery. And hopefully that'll be enough cash to buy me a couple upgrades in another restaurant. Mastery levels are definitely the best way to earn quick cash in this game. As soon as, mastery, as soon as a level's mastery levels are available to you, you should start trying to play them. And if you can't beat one, that's actually great, because that means that you can play that level over and over again with free energy, trying to beat it, and making a bunch of money while you do it.
You know, I've only ever had that guy get away one time. There was one time that I didn't notice him until just before he snuck away and I missed him. Another little trick to this game that I've noticed. If you have your finger too close to the edge of your phone or your tablet, if you're playing on a tablet, I'm playing on a cell phone. But if you have your finger too close, it actually it actually makes it so like it all like almost like it's pressing the screen and you your phone won't be as responsive to your touches. So definitely keep your hands away from the glass on the front of your screen so that it's not mistaking your body heat for you touching the phone. Well, I wasn't able to get more stars on any of the levels, but I did get, I think it was about 40,000, 40,000 conies. So now I'll be able to buy some upgrades on another restaurant.